Yeshua is the living word and the joy and rejoicing of my heart. Yeshua is the living word and the joy and rejoicing of my heart. He is the bread and sent down from heaven to be the flock of Abraham. He is the bread and sent down from heaven to be the flock of Abraham. Shalom and welcome to our Fort Lauderdale home. I'm Neil and this is my wife Jane. Shalom. Today we have a really special program for you that's close to our hearts. It's called Bar Mitzvah Blessings and it's about the Bar Mitzvah of both of our sons, Jonathan and Jesse. We will be going back and forth between Jonathan and Jesse as if they had become a Bar Mitzvah or son of the commandment on the same day. What you will be seeing actually took place three and a half years apart. Jonathan's bar mitzvah was on August 15, 1998, and Jesse's on January 19, 2002. Here's a foretaste of both simchas, and I do mean simchas. Friends came from near and far to worship the Lord with us at Temple Aron HaKodesh. What a joy it was to celebrate with our sons as they were called to the Torah for the first time. The temple was decorated especially for the occasion. Everything was so special, including the music and dance. I love bar mitzvahs. They are so joyful and a very special life cycle event. As Messianic Jews, we have various ways of marking the transition to spiritual accountability in a young man's life. Like traditional Jews, our children study the portions of the Torah and Haftorah that correspond to their Hebrew birth date. And then they prepare to read or chant these portions in Hebrew and give a personal interpretation in English. Both Jonathan and Jesse studied with Rabbi Yosef Kolner for about a year before becoming a bar mitzvah. Rabbi Kolner has known them both since they were born and at one time coached Jonathan's soccer team. Jonathan has been one of those players who gives you whatever you ask for. And uh, he shows his character and his leadership on uh, the field and he sets a very you know, good example. He is a fearless competitor in this bar mitzvah process where we've been uh, been more than studying the scriptures it's just been sharing our heart a little bit and Jonathan has really seriously and maturely tackled very uh, serious issues and it's interesting to see how the Lord has met him each step of the way and how he has accepted the challenge not only on the field but he's accepted the challenge in the spirit help him to realize that he is more than a conqueror through Yeshua who loved us. And as he grows and he faces challenges and choices, that he will choose life and he will choose blessing and he will choose to honor you all the days of his life so that the scripture would be fulfilled in him. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. And let us all say, Amen. I'll say amen to that as well. Our sons went to the rabbi to study and prepare, but bar mitzvah boys, beginning in the 14th century, went to their rabbi to receive a special blessing from him. We liked the idea of imparting blessings, so we modified the bar mitzvah ceremonies of our sons to include blessings by special people in their lives. And one of these people is Mark Chibis, who, along with his precious wife, Ruth, cares for our sons when we are out of town ministering. Jonathan knows what the Spirit of God looks like and smells like and sounds like. But today, and from this day forward, our prayer for you is that you will know what the hand of God moving through you feels like and smells like and looks like. God has given Jesse many gifts. Many, 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 many. But there is something that I think is the most important part. And that is his insatiable 
curiosity. <laughs> insatiable. So just join me in, in asking God to use that in, insatiable curiosity to find the mysteries that God has for he and his generation. Abba, before you become, and I ask that you would increase, not decrease this, increase this gift that you have given to Jesse. That you would pour in him the wonder of your ways and your will and your word and your world. That he would be a mystery chaser all the days of his life. And that out of his belly would flow those rivers of living water that can only come from you. It's in the mighty and awesome name of Yeshua we pray. Amen and amen. You know, Neil, Mark knows our boys, I think, as well as we do. Maybe even better. <laughs> he knows that they have many similarities, but are also wonderfully different. God has individual blessings for each of us. We all need to come of age to take responsibility for our spiritual lives, to grow up in God. Yes. Now, may the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob bless you today with whatever blessing you need, wisdom, peace, greater intimacy with God, a revelation of Yeshua as Messiah, freedom from habits that enslave you healing. Whatever you need, believe God. He is good and He is able to do all things as we worship Him. Could you feel the joy? That is one of my favorite Jewish Jewel segments of all times. Neil, it was definitely the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, that got our 13-year-old yes, son Jonathan up to dance like that. What a blessing. You know, and another blessing is my brother-in-law, Ted. He's the patriarch of our family and the one who's taken up the role of grandfather for our children since both our parents are deceased. We thank God for Uncle Ted, as my boys call him, and my precious sister Phyllis, and the void they filled in the lives of Jonathan and Jesse. Ted's blessing for Jonathan will be followed by our dear friend Elaine's blessing for Jesse. Elaine is my sister in the Lord who helped take care of Jesse when he was an infant. He has blessed you with, a, with superior intelligence. The Lord has also blessed you with championship level athletic ability. I ask God to further bless you with the greatest asset that he afforded me. And that is a positive mental attitude. Now that you've reached the point of Jewish manhood, may God cause you to seek out and accept the wise, intelligent, and caring counsel of those who love you. And during the intervening years between today and that point which is called adulthood, may God bless you so that at that time when people will speak of you, they will award to you the greatest accolade that any Jewish male can ever hope to achieve. May they at that time say of you, he is a mensch. <laughs> the Lord is going to greatly use you. And I bless you in the name of the Lord. And I thank you, Father, that Jesse Allen Lash is going to be a mighty, bold witness for Yeshua, Father. That he will be unreserving in his witness that he will go run after and pursue your people Israel according to your covenant, Father. Use him mightily. Use his flamboyant personality, Father, for Yeshua's sake, Father. I thank you, and I bless you this day, Jesse. In Yeshua's holy name, amen. Amen to both those blessings. There is power in blessings that are spoken over the lives of another. God does the blessing, but he's looking for us to exercise our faith and love and agree with him on the good things that he has in store for our children, our spouses, our friends, our co-workers, 
Of course, you would expect a heartfelt blessing from the mother of the Bar Mitzvah boys. Jamie sought the Lord concerning her blessing for Jonathan, and he showed her two things to pray over him. One is the blessing of knowing the love of God deeply. I pray this morning that you would know it more than I do. And if you do, that's going to be a lot. And second, I pray that you will hear the voice of God. Because if you learn to hear his voice, and I do, and I pray this morning that you would hear it louder than Mama hears it. And when you do, you will be the most blessed man in the whole entire universe. And I bless you with those two things because of my great love in my heart for you. I bless you today with the love of God, a hunger for the Torah, for the word of God, with the mind of Messiah, with good thoughts, pure thoughts, happy thoughts, godly thoughts, more creative thoughts, innovative thoughts. Be all that God has called you to be. Look at Mama. <laughs> we have talked about eye contact for 13 years. There are some things that come very slowly. You, Jesse Lash, be all that God has called you to be. Go for the gold, reach for the stars. You will be great in the kingdom of God. As you could see, I was at the point of tears when I blessed Jonathan and laughter with Jesse. Jonathan is intense and passionate. Jesse is easygoing and free-spirited. God will meet them both where they are. He wants to use their individual giftings for his purposes and his glory. And we have tried to train them to obey the Lord's commandments. Yeshua said, if you love me, keep my commandments. When God told the children of Israel to make garments with fringes, Numbers 15, 38, it was to remind them of his word. The talit, or garment with fringes or prayer shawl, has special significance for Messianic Jews because God's word is central to our beliefs. Blessed art thou, eternal our God, creator of heaven and earth, who has sanctified us by his commandments, has commanded us to wear garments with fringes. Baruch Ata Adonai, Elohinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kitshonu B'Mitzvah Tov, V'Tzivonu, Blessed art thou, eternal our God, creator of heaven and earth, who has sanctified us by his commandments and has commanded us to wear garments with fringes. By presenting my sons with a talit, I was passing the mantle of spiritual accountability to them. They are now spiritually responsible and accountable to God as their father. I blessed my two sons, Jonathan, my firstborn, and Jesse, who I call the son of my old age, he was born when I was 52 years old. May you be blessed with a heart that desires to fulfill the mitzvot, the commandments of God, to walk in his ways and thereby to just encounter all of the other things that you've been blessed with. May I bless you, Jonathan, with favor, the favor that Joseph had when he stood before Pharaoh. The favor that Yeshua had as well, but the favor that understands authority, that understands respect for authority, and that causes the favor to flow from heaven right into the life of a young man. And Jesse, one final and brief blessing from your father. As we've prayed so often together, choose God and choose good. It's all there before you. You can choose to be a blessing, you can choose to be a person. Your choices are yours. And so I bless you with godly wisdom, wisdom from heaven. No man gives that kind of wisdom. God has given it to me and passed the mantle of wisdom to you. May he take up that mantle. Mm. I pray that both our sons grow up to have their father's wisdom, humility, and self-sacrificing nature. May they love God first and foremost as Neil does and out of that relationship, love others. And they said to him, Rabbi, which is the greatest commandment in the Torah? Yeshua said unto them, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like unto it: You shall love your neighbor as yourself. 
On these two commandments hang all the Torah and the Nevi'im. Ve'achavta et Adonai Elochecha v'kol levacha v'kol nashecha v'kol mo'odecha v'achavta l'reacha k'mocha. This was the first time that Jonathan and Jesse made Aliyah, or went up to the platform of the congregation. They both knew the next Hebrew chant well before the day of their bar mitzvah, since we sing it each week at our Sabbath service. Here it is from Isaiah 2, verse 3, For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Next in the order of service was the Shema. This confession is an important tenet of our faith. We worship one God, not three as some traditional Jews suppose. We worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, recognizing that the Hebrew word echad indicates a plurality in that oneness. Please join with me as I chant the Shema. Shema Yisrael. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. Our God is one, our Lord is great, His name is holy. Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt His name together. God, And we do magnify the Lord today. He is so good, He is so great. The Lord our God is indeed one God who gave one special book to mankind, the Holy Bible. The first five books within this one larger book are called the Torah or the Pentateuch. We march the Torah around our congregation. As we do, people reach out to touch it, then press their fingers to their lips. This is a gesture of love and reverence for the Word of God. We do not worship the Torah itself. We worship the God who gave the Torah to mankind. The Torah was brought back to the Bema and opened to the portion the boys would be reading from. Jonathan and Jesse chanted the blessing before the reading of the Torah. Bless ye the Lord who is to be blessed. Blessed is the Lord who is to be blessed forever and ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has chosen us from among all peoples and has given us thy Torah. Blessed art thou, O Lord, giver of the Torah. Amen. It is indeed an honor to be called up to read from the Torah for the first time. Bakirbo. Ulmaan to Saper be Azne Bincha Uven Bincha et Asher Hitalalem Ti Bemitraim Vet Ototai 
אשר שמתי ואם ויעדתם כי אני אדוני. Now that was just a taste of the Hebrew. When the boys concluded the reading, they gave a discourse on their Torah portion. They spent months reading, analyzing, and writing their commentaries. Since Jesse's parasha, or portion, included the Passover in Exodus 12, he also did a visual presentation. Here's a sample of what they did. The name of the portion is Ekev in Hebrew, which means because in English. It is found in Deuteronomy 7, 12 through 11, 25. In Deuteronomy chapter 7, we are told that if you obey God's laws, you will be blessed. Some of God's blessings include his love, his blessings on the fruit of his people's land, and deliverance from all sickness. He also said not to be afraid of the other nations, because God would deliver them into the hands of the people of Israel. Another thing God said was that his people were not to keep the plunder, because it was detestable to God. God still blesses his people today when we obey his Tanakh. Today, we do not have to be afraid of our enemies, because God is still greater than our enemies. This is a matzotash, and it's a traditional Jewish custom at the Passover Seder. And what it is, is it's a cloth that has three different sections in it. And what traditional Jewish people believe is that the top matzah represents God, the middle matzah represents Israel, and the bottom matzah represents all the nations of the world. And they believe that Israel had to suffer so much pain because, to connect the nations of the world to God. But what we as Messianic Jews believe is that the top matzah is God, the middle matzah is the high priest, which is Yeshua, because he is our high priest, and the bottom matzah represents the people of the world. And we believe that Yeshua is our mediator. He connects us to God. Amen. And what we do, another tradition, is we will take the middle matzah, which is right here, and we will break it in half, and then we'll wrap it in cloths and hide it, but we don't leave it hidden. We go and we find it, and we give a piece to everyone, and we eat it. And the reason we do this is because Yeshua's body was broken and wrapped in cloths and hidden in his grave, but it didn't stay hidden. It was resurrected from his grave. Amen. And the reason we eat a pizza of matzah is because Yeshua said, take and eat, which he was referring to matzah, my body which is broken for you. I hope you could tell that Jonathan and Jesse know that God is real and active today. He has kept his promise to his Jewish people and has sent a mediator to bring us to God, a prophet like Moses, only greater than Moses. Yeshua himself was a bar mitzvah, a son of the commandments. He said, I only do those things I see my father doing. May we all do likewise. Yes. Amen. And Jesse's bar mitzvah service ended and Jonathan's party began with the traditional hamotzi, or blessing over the bread. Hamotzi lechem min Amen. Blessed art thou, eternal our God, creator of heaven and earth, who brings forth bread from the earth. The boys really loved that rainbow challah. They also really enjoyed being lifted up in chairs, the traditional Jewish part of a bar mitzvah celebration. King for a day. The partying continued with a candle lighting ceremony. Candles, one for each year, were lit by family and friends. Blessings and prayers and hugs and dancing continued for hours. As Uncle Ted said, that bar mitzvah was the most freyla kasimcha he had been to in years. A real joy. Now, perhaps you're planning a bar bat mitzvah or a blessing service. We have a wonderful messianic resource to help you. This free catalog is filled with messianic books and music and items of Judaica to help you celebrate life in Yeshua on any occasion. 
Write and request your free catalog today. You can get a free copy by writing to us at Jules, Box 450130, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33345, or by calling us at 1-877-293-7482. That's 1-877-293-7482. This catalog will really bless you. And God has more blessings for you. Our sons were blessed at their bar mitzvahs, but God wants you to be blessed today. I'd like to read a blessing to you from Jonathan's Torah portion from Ekev. Therefore know that the Lord your God, He is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love Him and keep His commandments. Deuteronomy 7, 9. Father, I bless my friends today with the knowledge of your great faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Your mercies are new every morning. Lord, if there's someone who needs your mercy, touch them today, I pray, with your mercy. They need to see your faithfulness, Lord God. You are faithful to fulfill your word. And I pray in the name of Yeshua that you will see answers to your prayers because our God is an awesome, faithful, covenant-keeping God. And I have a blessing for you from Jesse's Torah portion in Exodus chapter 12, actually two blessings, but it begins this way. Now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt saying, may you be blessed to be able to hear the voice of the Lord speaking to you personally as Moses and Aaron did. God went on to say to them, this month shall be your beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. He gave them a brand new calendar. They were born again. I've been born again. I hope you have been too. You'll have a brand new calendar. I celebrate my born-again birthday. I have a born-again birthday cake, but I look to God for my born-again birthday present. Accept Yeshua as God's Messiah and have a new spiritual birthday. The scripture goes on to say, speak to all the congregation of Israel, saying on the 10th of this month, every man shall take for himself a lamb according to the house of his father, a lamb for a household. Those of you who already have made Yeshua your lamb, believe for your entire household. The Word of God says, a lamb for a household. Jesus, the middle wall of partition is broken down. Male, female, Jew, Gentile, all one in the Messiah. Can't wait till next week for another episode of Jewish Jewels? Then visit us on the internet at jewishjewels.org where you can watch previous episodes or read our newsletters, sign up for a mercy mission and tour of Israel, join our prayer team, or even shop online for Messianic books and gifts. It's all available to you at the click of a mouse at www.jewishjewels.org. Pay us a visit soon. To be the flower.